Hello and welcome to today's presentation on the new forest camping trip. This presentation aims to give you some more information about what we will be doing on the school trip and some more information about what the students might need to bring with them. The year eight trip dates are the 24th to 27th of May 2022 and the year nine trip dates are the 10th to the 13th of May 2022. We will be staying at the New Forest Activities campsite in Bewley River, Hampshire. It's a really beautiful setting and location, surrounded by forest and wildlife. The students are going to have a fantastic time. So the content of this presentation, we're going to be talking about activities the students will be taking part in, equipment, clothing and items they will need, rules of the school trip, medication and any other information that they might need. Here are some of the examples of activities we'll be taking part in. We will be kayaking on the Beauty River, taking part in Battle Zone Laser Quasar in the woods, we will be canoe and raft building to develop teamwork and confidence. We'll be doing a lot of walking and hiking to improve our fitness and take in our surroundings. We will be taking part in lots of sport and wellbeing activities such as rounders, football matches and yoga. The students will get an amazing opportunity to build a campfire and toast marshmallows in the evenings. And of course there will be plenty of time to relax and chill out in the beautiful countryside. This slide is really important because it gives you and the students an idea of what they're going to need to bring with them. This is all the basic equipment that the students will have to bring. All of it must fit into a small weekend travel bag, as well as a small backpack that they can take on the coach with them that is suitable for walking and transferring their lunch from activity to activities throughout the day. So they will need a small camping or inflatable pillow that fits into their weekend travel bag we will provide them with the sleeping bag and a bed. They will need four sensible outfits suitable for physical activity and walking. They will need sensible walking shoes or boots, trainers to ensure that they are comfortable while taking part in sporting activities and hiking. We're going in May, so it may be sunny. Please ensure you pack sun protection, a sun hat, cream, and clothes that cover their shoulders. We will be doing a lot of water-based activities and spending time in the open countryside where the sun will be really exposed to their skin. They will need pyjamas or sleeping clothes. Make sure that these are warm as the temperature will probably drop in the night and they will be sleeping in bell tents. They will need waterproof clothing, jackets and waterproof trousers um, in case it rains or it gets a little bit muddy. Please pack several pairs of socks to ensure the students, in case they have to walk through lakes and things, have, have nice dry socks to put on when they get back to the campsite. Please ensure you pack a number of carrier bags so the students can put wet or muddy clothes inside. And of course, they will need toiletries, toothbrush and toothpaste, shower gel, wet wipes and sanitary products. And they will also need a towel. This slide outlines the rules of the school trip. It's really important that you sit down and go through these with your child before they leave for the Bewley River. We will of course reiterate these rules on the coach on the way there and we will have regular safety meetings and briefs throughout the school trip where they will be reminded. So first of all, the first rule of the trip is students must have fun. They've lost a lot of learning through uh, COVID and school closures, so this trip should really boost their confidence and improve their team building skills. Parents, please support your child when packing their bag and ensure that no dangerous or inappropriate items are bought on the trip. Only items on the kit list should be bought. Any inappropriate item will be confiscated and the student will be at risk of being sent home. Students must listen and follow all instructions of staff members and activity leaders at all times. This is to ensure the safety of all students are met. Some of the activities we're doing do have an element of danger to them. For example, kayaking on the Bewley River. They're going to be around water and they're going to be around large open spaces. We need to make sure that all students listen to all our staff members and the activity leaders at all times. 
all students must remain in their own tents past bedtime and they cannot go from tent to tent past lights out. Mobile phones are the students' own responsibility. If they choose to bring them and they get lost, stolen or damaged, the school will take no responsibility. Phones will not be permitted in tents past 7pm and will be handed in to the trip leader. They will get them back in the morning. Unfortunately, there will be no charging points on the campsite for the students to charge their phones, so once the batteries have died, there won't be an opportunity to recharge them. The school do reserve the right to confiscate phones if they are used inappropriately for safeguarding of all students. No, <coughs> no gaming devices are permitted to be bought on the trip, for example, Nintendo Switches. Students will be in tents throughout the night alone. <coughs> Staff will sleep in separate tents and will patrol the area regularly. Students that are not being sensible throughout the night may lose their place on the trip. Parents can be asked at any time to collect their child from the trip should we deem their behaviour dangerous, inappropriate or unsafe. You will receive a more detailed letter soon about students with medication or students with medical needs attending the trip. This is just a pre-warning from us to parents to ensure that all medication is ordered from doctors and prepared now. Students with medical conditions will need to bring two sets of medication on the trip. Inhalers, for example. One set is to remain with the student at all times and one is to remain with the staff member in charge of the child's group as a backup. All sets of medication need to be in a clear plastic bag to protect it and clearly labelled with the child's name and date of birth. As I've previously said, there will be further opportunity towards the trip destination date for any parents concerned about their child's medical needs or conditions to discuss these with our first aid up before the trip commences. With this presentation, there is a letter detailing the kit list and other information about the trip that you may need. Please start preparing now, as the trip is only around the corner. We will be doing a lot of walking. Please ensure your child is prepared with the right equipment for this. Please talk to your child about the trip and the expectation of them to be sensible and safe. All emergency and medical information will be taken by the staff. If there is any kind of problem, we will notify you straight away, so rest assured. There will be eight staff members on the trip. Trained first aiders and the campsite and activities are run and supported by trained professionals. We will update parents through our social media accounts of how the students are doing on the trip and provide daily photo updates of the groups. With this presentation, there is a letter for you to sign to allow us to use your child's image. Please follow the link to the Google questionnaire. If you do not sign this, we cannot take your child's photo and update you through our social media pages. Your child's place can be withdrawn prior to the trip if their behaviour is deemed dangerous or unsafe in school. Your child does not need to bring any food with them on the trip and all food is provided by the campsite. We are aware that there are students coming with different kinds of allergies and we want to ensure we keep these safe by limiting the amount of food extra brought in by students. The most important thing to remember is this is a great opportunity for the students to have fun and we want to make sure they do so in a safe and careful environment. And finally from us here at Patridge High School get excited. We as a school are extremely excited that we can finally start offering these opportunities again after COVID-19 school closures. Your child is extremely lucky that they have a place on this trip. So please start preparing them now, get them excited and get them ready for what is going to be a huge adventure for them and for us. Thank you for listening. Any questions, please email lbartoletti at patridgehide.org or give me a call and I can discuss things with you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.